Mail time again. Um, I haven't done this in a while. I should have done this last week already. I just haven't gotten around doing to doing it. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's proper cold in Cape Town nowadays. Uh, eating about three degrees Celsius. So um, I don't have any air, so I have to find another way to cope with the cold. So anyway, I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. Uh, you can see I'm probably tired. Uh, the kids are keeping me out of sleep, so um, that's always fun, isn't it? So anyway, let's uh, let's get around to 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 do this. So today I've got the Kaiser Critical in. That was a fail. I've got the Kaiser Critical Mini in the Streisand Co. belt organizer. There we go. That's a little bit better. You guys rem will remember this knife from uh, digging into the uh, Capitain knife a while back. That review will come out shortly. I just need to re record all my footage for the uh, Wuben T1 that I was supposed to bring out a while back. My kids um, wanted to play with my stuff and all my footage is gone. Everything. <laughs> gone with the wind. Anyway, let's do this one first. So, Ram Couriers, you know it's uh, from Henry Bierman uh, over at Torch SA. Let's see. Okay. Here I've got a white box. It says Brenite QCO2. So UC stands for Universal Charger. So this battery can charge, uh, I think, up to 21 700 lengthwise. Um, it's got um, what's that reset called? No, I can't get to the word. But yeah, you can you can reset batteries with it. Comes with the charging cable, so you just need a charging block. Put it, plug it into the wall, and you can charge your flashlight batteries. 18650, 10440s. Uh, 21700, 2660, uh, 26600, something like that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a whole huge range of batteries you could charge with this. I will, I'll just get the specs. There's no manual with this. Um, so I'll get the specs and uh, do some testing on my flashlight batteries and I'll, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Then I've got two very similar little packages let me just uh, take it out of the bubble wrap here <clears throat> so here I've got what you will say is the exact same flashlight two of them this is the Trustfire Mini X keychain light, and um, let's see what it what it looks like. So <clears throat> this one is ultimate grey, and it's got the UV light. This one is ultimate grey, and it's got the red light. So let's. Let's see. This is the coolest thing ever. This is the coolest little flashlight ever. Just look at that. I think it needs a charge. 
Ah, there it goes on. And off. Then you've got your emergency mode. And I want to switch on this UV light. Okay, anyway, I'll figure this out. So with this one as UV. Ah, there we go. There is the UV light. So I've got a knife with basically it's made from reflectivist um, one from Albertus Milan it's made from reflectivist um, my, the micarta was made from reflective I'm gonna test it with this see if that glows uh, anyway so this one has the red light not the UV light so this is mine you guys can forget about it the UV light is mine this one with the red light I'm gonna be giving away all thanks to Henry so details will come soon last package this one is from Warren Smith uh, Warren Smith is from Bush Baby Nice so go check his Facebook page and Instagram out Small little package. Ooh, shit. No, I got right through. <laughs> and then you get this little pouch. Now let's see what is in here. Well, I know. Jeez. This thing is in there. <sighs> ah, here we go. Right. What's that? You may ask. This is a bolt action pin, which was handmade by Warren. This is turned out of brass and uh, let's see if I can get that action in there. See, just like a bolt action rifle, <laughs> that's where the name comes from, bolt action pit. You've got some knurling there, just give you that slight grip and um, I, will, I will do a review with this. This takes normal Parker pin refills and he sells them for about 400 rand um, which is very very inexpensive if you ask me I mean 400 rand for a handmade pin turned out of brass where you can go and buy something that's similar to this production made so on CNC's and what have you costing four times as much not bad not bad at all so I will, I'm going to use this. This is going into my Strauss and Co. belt organizer right now. Out with the old shit and in with the new. Fits perfectly. The only drawback, it doesn't have a pocket clip. He is working on some models with a pocket clip. Anyway, I'm going to go to work and uh, go test my new pen. And I'll get back with the details soon about the uh, flashlight. So... Cheers guys. Have a